And this was really a good introduction for our next speaker uh, that is uh, going to continue to talk about the value chain, that is Jakob Reme, professor in, in industrial economics and management at Linköping University here in Sweden. Welcome, Jakob. Thank you very much. And you've been listening uh, all the time? Yes, I have. On the perspective. Pardon? Very interesting. It has been, yes. So, looking at the value chain, how, we, how is it and will be affected by this geopolitical crisis? Absolutely. And I think that the, the, the panel, we're talking about this already. And I, I think that what we have seen is that, um, because before 2016, I, I think that we all, all saw that we had like a seamless type of supply chain or value chains in the world and that no one was seeing this as any, any of, of a concern at all. Whereas, you know, we've had this, it's not only the U Ukrainian, you know, the Russian attack on the Ukraine, but it's also a political movement with the, you know, the Brexit uh, election, the Trump uh, and with China, where we've gone from outsourcing to near sourcing. We've had the pandemic, which had a huge impact on our supply chains we closed borders, production breakdowns, a, a, a very big unbalance in, in freight containers, etc. And what we see is basically three strong influencing factors for the for the development of, of global value chains. And one is something that you also took up here, and that is technology with uh, IT and blockchain, uh, track and trace systems, making supply chains much more efficient by by and also at the same time in terms of sustainability, to achieve much more transparency. But there are also uh, big problems with that, you know, in terms of potential surveillance problems as well. Another uh, very important aspect that has had a huge in influence in factors on, on factor of, of, uh, of global value chains is uh, policies and, and political efforts. And this is, you know, with the renewed interest in this right now as well, you know, one thing is, it's also that we've had, uh, you know, the, the policies and the political uh, will to protect national markets. But it's also in, in terms of that um, uh, sustainability efforts and trade tariffs that will have an impact on this as well. And now we also see uh, more security concerns. Uh, and that is also something that will will alter the landscape in terms of how we look at different markets. Finally, business strategies. <clears throat> you can say that just a few years back, we could see a few companies looking at supply chain risk. But now I would say that almost all companies are investigating their supply chains, their value chains, and reconsidering old outsourcing, taking back production. And uh, this is a huge uh, shift in terms of how companies are viewing this as well. Uh, so absolutely, the geopolitical crisis have had a huge impact on uh, our value chains. Is, is it anything in the value chain perspective that might slow down the speed of the climate transformation? I, I definitely think so. And I think that uh, we've been talking about the Russian crisis and or the, you know, the, the war in the Ukraine. And uh, this is something that will have a, a huge impact on this. But it's also a matter of this, this uh, complete development. When, we, when we're looking at this and taking back production, and we are potentially also then leaving some developing countries, you know, and um, then there will be less possibilities to influence uh, companies and also countries uh, in terms of this. And if, if you're looking at people as well, uh, if they have trouble in, in sustaining themselves to buy food, etc. Uh, we could also see that issues such as, you know, CO2 or biodiversity will not be as focused. No. So, uh, how is the geopolitical uh, crisis affecting the prices, both for companies and for consumers? Well, I, I think that... Um, um, this is, I mean, like this has, has had a huge impact already. The break, this breakdown, I would like to call it, in global value chains, in, in production, in freight, the lack of components, delays in supply, uh, 
this has had a huge impact already and it this is and and the energy prices of course i mean like raw materials is going up in price and this has resulted in 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 uh, already in rapid inflation across the world and uh, we can also see that a number of companies are are raising prices just because they can and also because they've got problems in in supplying uh, products uh, but i think that the the russian situation now is is uh, is um is is a big impact on this and uh, um, and particularly in terms of uh, food prices and this will i mean like when we see this autumn i think that we will have even more higher prices yeah thank you so much jakob prema professor industrial economics management at linköping university thank you so much